Welcome to the VMware Cloud feature demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to deploy a virtual machine from a content library template on the VMware Cloud on AWS. VMware Cloud on AWS allows users to leverage the content library feature of vCenter Server to quickly and easily import virtual machine files, such as templates, OVF, and ISO files, to your cloud software-defined data center. This allows you to easily onboard workloads from the data center to your cloud SDDC. We begin at the Content Library page of the web client and click on the Add Content Library or plus sign button. Here, you can give your subscribed library a name to distinguish between other content libraries. Click Next and choose Subscribed Content Library, which will allow you to synchronize data from a published content library on another vCenter server. Add the URL found in the Publisher Content Library to allow Content Library to create a secure connection. In this example, we provide the URL of a content library running in an on-prem data center in Palo Alto. If you've enabled authentication, you may enter the password. Choose whether or not to download all content immediately from the Publisher Content Library or only synchronize files and templates on demand as needed. You may need to accept the SSL thumbprint of the certificate from the Publisher Content Library. If so, click Yes to proceed. You will need to choose the Workload Data Store as the repository location for the objects from Content Library. Once you've looked over the options, click Finish. You will now see the subscribed Content Library in the Content Libraries window. Clicking on your new Content Library allows you to browse through all the available files and templates. If you chose to synchronize the files on demand, you will see that these are only the titles and that the actual files have not been downloaded, as indicated by the zero bytes in the size column. Right-clicking on any of the files and selecting Synchronize Item will fetch the rest of the data and download it locally to your vSAN data store. This automatically copies the selected virtual machine files from the on-prem data center to your SDDC. We have synchronized a Windows Server 2012 template and will deploy a new virtual machine from this template by right-clicking the file and selecting New VM from this template. Give this VM a name and select a folder location where the VM will reside. In this example, we name it as Server 2012 R2-01. We'll put this VM in the Workloads folder and click Next. We'll also choose our Compute Resource Pool, as this is the resource pool given to VMware Cloud on AWS customers to run their workloads in. Click Next. Review the details and choose the data store of the new VM, which for us is the Workload Data Store. Select the logical network this virtual machine will be placed on and give it an IP address for network connectivity. Click Next, review your information, click Finish. We next go to Hosts and Clusters and select the VM. Here, you will see the virtual machine deploying. Once it has been deployed, you may power it on and you will have successfully deployed a virtual machine from this content library template. This concludes the video on deploying a virtual machine from a content library on VMware Cloud on AWS. Thank you.